What the guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm in such a good mood right now. I only realised until like 20 minutes before I was about to finish my shift that I was finishing at 11. So I started at 7, finished at 11. I've got the whole bloody day left. Look at that. I'm well happy. Anyway, I went, then went into town because I got paid today. I got paid one point one grand. First ever time I've earned that, which is, which is good. I set myself a goal of earning £1,000 a month by 18. I've done it at 17, which is good. Anyway. Anyway, I got taxed like 50 quid, which is annoying. Um, but yeah, I picked up these champion uh, like skin tight joggers, which are really nice. Um, got big old meaty thighs, but yeah, they no, they look really good. They're like 16 quid from TK Max as well, but they're like so good. They're so soft as well. They're almost like a, um, the material is more like a lycra than a cotton. It's not, it's not like a thick, it's more of a summery tractor bottom. Um, but yeah, I've got some flip-flops as well, just just like beta ones that I can wear outside, going outside, or if I need to do some like, quick drive to like Sansbury's and I don't have any shoes on, I can't be able to put socks on, slip those flip-flops on, they're like two pounds or something, I just slip them on and run off, like, it's just easy. And then I bought some jeans from Top Man, only because I was sceptical, because I don't know what these jeans would be like, but I tried them on, they look really good. They were like 10 quid. I really like the stone wash as well on them. And this stone wash, like, is quite an expensive wash, if you get what I mean. Like, I've seen jeans in other places that have been like 40, 50 quid for this kind of wash. And it's not, it's not got no rip, so they're quite a formal jean. Um, but when things like that are washed, yeah, they're stretch skinny 36. Only, I went for, th I'm only 34. I went for 36 because Top Man A, first, first thing, Top Man is tiny. Secondly, um... If I put my my uh, current jeans I normally wear against these, which are a 34, they're bigger than these, right? <laughs> which doesn't make any sense. Um, and then, also the stretch isn't as stretchy as some of the other jeans, so you have to go for a bigger size just to get that extra stretch. Um, but yeah. If you're like, basically, if you're one, go size up if you're buying je jeans on top. And if you're like not, if you're like ridiculously skinny, then it doesn't really matter. But if you're like got beefy legs like me, um, then it would make sense to go up a bigger size. Which in the end, there wasn't much difference between a 34 and a 36. But I just thought, you know what, let's get a 36. A, because there's a bit more room. I don't really like having jeans or whatever that are like bull, bull hugging, you know what I mean? So... Yeah, and I'm really happy because my Nando's card came back. I lost my wallet ages ago, and is it contactless? Oh, contacting you. Okay. I I, I saw contacts. I was like, oh, it might be contactless Nando's card. That'd be sick. Anyway, yeah, but yeah, these, um, oh, shit. I bought a 10. Oh, fuck, a US 10 as well. They're not going to fit me. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Yeah, bloody hell, look at that, my feet didn't even go on it, look. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, my God, I guess, I guess someone else is going to have to have them then. Well, I don't know, they might fit me, let's have a look. A US 10, it was a UK 9, I'm, in a, U I'm a UK 12 or 11, so there's no way these are going to fit me, actually, thinking about it. Screws my grind dog, too. yeah, like, I can't even get my, I can just about get my foot in there, but it's still, like, it's like, no. No, it's not going to be like that, mate, sorry, mate. Well, that's a waste of money. Huh. I think I still have the receipt. Yeah, I do, I do, I do. So I can just bring them back and get a new, another pair, but... <laughs> this means another trip into town, doesn't it, really? But I'm working, so it'll be right. Anyway, they're my recent buys. Um, that's what I bought. Those jeans, these trackies, um, which are actually well nice. And then... Um, yeah, I've actually been really rating my cycling recently because I've been cycling loads to work. Like, I've worked more or less every other day since May, more or less. <laughs> and um, basically, um, I've been cycling more or less every other day then to work to, to town and back, which is like a four mile journey all round, I'd say. Uh, apparently, it's a bit more than that. It's about six miles all, all round, actually, I think. But a six mile journey every day, there and back. It's actually really done, w done well for my like my legs and my, my fitness and stuff because like my legs are getting so much stronger already, and I can feel like a proper um, definition in the in the back of my legs as well now, which is probably what you keep feeling, seeing me feel my back of my leg. But like athletic legs, they have that 
that um, curvature here and then the, the inside and the back as well, like down there somewhere. And where you can see that like rivets there, that's where the, the curve of the back comes out. I never used to have that. So obviously the, the cycling that I've been doing has been, has been is like 100% it's been so, so good for my legs and my fitness in general. Like I feel, I feel like when I wake up and I go on a cycle or when I wake up and I get a lift in, I feel so much better when I go for a cycle. Like I mean, I, I come in a bit sweaty and I'm like, oh, you hot? yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause obviously it takes me like 15 minutes. So I go quick, I like to go quick. And obviously it's better for your fitness if you go quick and you burn more calories than that. But I felt, I just felt so much better in terms of my, my alertness at work and my kind of like attitude and how I felt and my, my, my energy to go and do stuff. And I, <laughs> half the mornings I don't even eat anything for breakfast and I still feel so energised. So that's a very important thing, I think. Either running to work or walking to work or walking to school. Anything that's like, as long as you're like moving... To go to a place. I mean, it's it sounds really stupid of me telling you this, but yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that's basically been it today, and it's a bit nice. I'm sending that on Depop. That Tommy here for your crew neck, like I said yesterday. So if you're interested, it's on there. Um, and yeah, got my Nando's card back, which is pretty good. Um, yeah. So awesome, guys. Awesome. So guys, I'm just going up to Sainsbury's now. I need to go get some money out. Job is they look rock solid. So I've got some flowers for my mum and some headphones for me because mine, they've gone one legged, only one ear works, so yeah. Cool. Right then guys, I'm going to do something I haven't done in a while. I'm going to do a drum cover because I feel like there's some couple of songs that I just want to like get out there that I think would be really good. So, also buy my new headphones. Why not give them give them a test out on this thing? But yeah, let's just move my pass driving test stuff over to my other driving test stuff, and then move some clothes out the way. Literally, I am the worst. Alice tidied this amazingly like before she left, and now what is life again? Anyway, anyway. Uh, I'm going to test out these headphones, I have a couple of quick practice, quick warm up, and then turn the camera on, see how it goes. No. No? Right. That's my best friend! What, like three? Nah, nah, you alright? Nah, you're fucking oh. right. <laughs> hey guys, so, it is like quarter past one in the morning, currently. I just got in, um... My phone died like the whole night, so I couldn't do anything. But I'm home now. I just want to say thank you for all support, as per usual. Awesome. And I'll see you tomorrow morning uh, when I've got work from 11 till 8. And then I've got Sunday off, I've got Monday off. I'm seeing Alice Monday, which I can't wait for. It's going to be awesome. I haven't seen her in like a week. <laughs> so that's going to be good. And then. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be good. Awesome vlogs. But yeah, thank you very much. I'm very done. I'm very done. <laughs> As you can probably tell, I'm probably just chatting a bit woof, but yeah. Night geezers. I have my haircut though. Again, um, my mum did the sides. But it looks like a barnet right now because I haven't put anything in it, so that's why it looks a bit wok. But um, it'll, tomorrow it'll look better because it'll be like, up and that. It'll be like. Sharp, I'm ready to go. Fresh trim dog, so you know what I'm saying. But yeah, <laughs> see you in a bit, guys. <laughs>